anything to make me leave them and talk to him. He'd blow up my phone while I was at dinner. If I didn't respond, he'd call me awful things just to bait me into giving him attention. Even on prom night, he tried convincing me to stay home. And when I didn't comply, he went silent, which worried me to death. Illy Mation has been extremely brave with sharing her story about her abusive ex-boyfriend. And in this video, we're gonna be discussing how she became an emotional hostage and what you can look out for so you don't have the same thing happen to you. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And something that I love about the community and the subscribers I have and everybody following me on social media is that you guys are amazing, amazing at recommending videos for me to check out and kind of unpack and, you know, teach you different lessons and all that. And I never heard of Illy Mason, uh, Illy Mason or any of this. I'm probably gonna screw up her name 50 million times. But anyways, um, a lot of you told me that she made a new video. So in this video, I'm actually going to break down the first video that she did about uh, how she met her uh, abusive ex-boyfriend. Um, I'll probably do the next one tomorrow. So for those of you who don't know, I am currently in the middle of writing an anger management book called Rewire Your Anger. Um, I needed a little bit of a break, so I decided to watch this. So but anyways, go check out my Instagram at The Rewired Soul. I put up the entire chapter list. Hopefully be out by Sunday, if not Monday. But anyways, yeah, as I break this down, like just so you know, there, there's so much, there's so much going on here and I could talk about this forever. I didn't realize that her video was about her being so young when this happened and that that's a huge deal. And the first thing I will say is that I'm so glad that she's an animator and she's making this because there's so many young people out there and like, I'm a parent, I, I have a, son who's about to turn 10, year old, uh, 10 years old. And we've had conversations and things like that, but I know some parents find it difficult or awkward or they don't like talking about these things. And, you know, we're always worried, like, is my kid gonna watch Jake Paul or Tana Mojo? But you have somebody like Illy Mation over on YouTube who's using her platform to teach young women, even young men, about what to look out for. And that is so admirable. Those of you who've been following my channel, I'm a huge, huge, huge advocate of sharing your story because it can help so many other people. And I, I, I look forward to checking out Ellie Mason's other videos about how she got out of it. But I will remind you too, at the end of this video as well, I put all of the resources that she has in my description. So if you need help, make sure you go and check that out. One day, someone popped in and said they liked my drawing and they asked how old I was. I said I was 13. They said they were 17 and they thought my art was so good that I had to be an art teacher or something. Now, this may seem like a compliment and it is, especially from someone older than you. And that's exactly what I was thinking. But considering what would later happen, this is called grooming. So yeah, this first this first part uh, th that I showed, it's, it's about grooming. And as a parent, it's it's difficult. And I'll tell you this, like just the best thing that we can do, the best thing that we can do is just have open dialogue with our children at all times. I grew up, I grew up when AOL was like the first big thing. And we had dial up modem with the ee, uh, that whole thing. So like, that's where I started. And from that time back in the nineties or yeah, nineties, like it, it was an issue, like there's predators out there. And um, go check out uh, my buddy Ready to Glare's channel. She just put up a video about what's going on on Tumblr and how it's coming over to Twitter and how there's people who are doing child grooming now. Like we need to be aware of this and hopefully Ready to Glare and I can do a collab soon because I'm learning so much stuff. And as a parent, it freaks me out even more. But there's just certain things that we gotta teach our kids about and have an open conversation about, right? Like my son right now is in the other room playing Fortnite, right? He plays on Xbox Live with a lot of his friends, but we've had like talks and guidelines and I, I communicate with him. I'm like, how old are the people you're playing with and, and all of that? And most of them are within his age range. And then like once in a while, he'll be like, oh yeah, we were playing with a, an adult on our team the other day. day. I'm like, what, you were playing with an adult? And he'll be like, yeah, they were like 12 and a half. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, like have these conversations. Um, if, if you are really worried, and this is something I might need to make a whole separate video about, like it is okay to, 
to check and ask or have these checks or whatever it is for safety reasons. But please, if you're a parent, like educate yourself about what's going on, how people out there are trying to take advantage of kids because it is a, a bad situation and I'm glad Illymation is bringing some light to it. He'd accuse me of ignoring him and hating him. And one night when I fell asleep, I woke up to a barrage of texts from him saying he was going to kill himself because I was ignoring him. And I called him a million times and after hours of calling and texting him that I was sorry and it wouldn't happen again, he finally responded. And thankfully he was okay. But I was not. At 13, I couldn't imagine being the reason someone killed themselves. All right, so this, this is huge. Like the rest of this video, I want you all to understand like, this can happen to you at any age any age at all, all right? So right there, she's talking about how this dude would threaten suicide. And this is where we're talking about how somebody is kept as an emotional hostage, all right? There, there's so much that goes into it. I made a video a while back about um, being an emotional hostage and Illumination, like, her video explains how it evolves, how it happens. They're going to make you feel bad in different ways. They're going to tell you that, you know, you're hurting their feelings, uh, you know, you're doing this to them and all these other things. And like, you need to look for these red flags, all right? So if you are like out in the dating scene, if you're on like Tinder or OkCupid or whatever it is, and you start talking to a guy or you start talking to a gal and they start doing these things and trying to make you feel bad for not showing them all these all this attention, that is is a huge, huge, huge red flag. I actually mentioned this in the video I did the other day about Haley Reese, like some of us were so lonely and we want somebody to be there for us that we think it's like enduring that this person texts us 24 seven and wants all of our, our attention. But no, because it can turn into stuff like this. So like beware of somebody who wants 100% of your attention all the time. But then it escalates to a point where if Illumation wasn't talking to him, uh, he, he would threaten suicide. And this is something that we need to take very seriously. So my mom, who is a psychologist and I, we made a video a few months ago about this happening and how to take suicidal threats um, seriously. Like you have to, you have to, have to, have to. And in case I don't circle back to this point, like please, 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 everybody out there watching this video, if you even get close to this situation, talk to people, talk to people, talk to people. Like this is why we have a, a Discord server. This is why we have a Facebook group. All this stuff is always linked down in the description. Have people you can talk to. Have people you can talk to and say, is this normal? Is this weird? Is something off? You know what I mean? Because it can slowly escalate into a place where the person is threatening suicide. But like if you came to me, it's like, okay, call the police. Call the cops, do this, do that, right? I can give you some steps. That's what some of these resources down below in the description will help you with as well. But let me use some of my personal experience, okay? I made a video a while back about how you need to quit blaming other people for your feelings, but at, at the same time, you cannot be responsible for other people's feelings. You guys, I work in drug and alcohol treatment. In the last three years, I have had over 70 people die. If I take responsibility for all of those deaths, I'm gonna lose my mind, right? So remember, like, you cannot make somebody do anything like that, all right? No matter how much they try to manipulate you into thinking that, you cannot make someone feel that way. If you provide them with the resources, if you call the police, if you call 911, or whatever it is to send, um, you know, uh, emergency services over to their house, you are doing the most that you can do. But in situations like this, you need to talk to somebody so you can exit that situation. Like, you cannot be held as an emotional hostage in this way. All right, that clip right there, like, that's a huge red flag. Like. Ladies especially, like that's a huge red flag. Guys too, huge red flag. If if somebody keeps pressuring you into doing something and you have clearly stated that it makes you uncomfortable, bye, peace out, see you later. I am done, I am gone, all right? Like someone who does not respect your boundaries has no place in your life, all right? Like I know, I know that it, it sounds kind of harsh, it sounds kind of rough, but man, like, it, like these type of videos get me worked up because my entire life I've had, you know, uh, female, like a lot of female friends, like my best friend is a woman. My girlfriend is a woman. <laughs> but anyways, I've grown up around women my entire life and I, I hear these stories about how men just do these things that are just uh, like, and I'm not trying to white knight or 
r slash nice guys up in here, but it's just awful. And like, we really need to look out for this. So like, if somebody is not respecting your boundaries when you tell them what is making you uncomfortable, you need to exit that situation. These pictures of me were so important to him, he'd do anything to get them. So he found a way to deny, deflect, and blame me for everything. I can't believe you think I'm a... What is wrong with you? Are you crazy? Do you have any idea how that makes me feel as your boyfriend? That you think I'm a... Right there, Illymation is talking about gaslighting. And this is huge, okay? This is when somebody, like Ellie Mason, like describes it, but anyway, it's when somebody makes you question your own sanity, right? Like, have you ever, um, <laughs> well, have you ever watched the Shane Dawson series about <laughs> Jake Paul? They talked a little bit about how narcissists or sociopaths will do this, right? Well, I guess both will do this, but like, they'll make you feel bad for them doing something bad to you. Like, that's bonkers. One of the best, like, ways to uh, counter gaslighting is to have a support group, to bounce these things off other people and say, does this sound right to you? Does it sound right to you that this person is saying these things to me and making me feel bad about what they're doing? Like you need to have other people. And this is like huge for any type of just mental health thing at all. Like I cannot always trust this thing. This is why I bounce things off of other people. So I know I'm like, okay, am I overreacting to this situation or is this really happening. He also threatened to kill me and then himself if I didn't comply. You could have said no. No, I couldn't have. I was terrified. You don't know what it was like. You don't get to say that to me and millions of other young children who are lured into this kind of evil every day. And lastly, lastly, Illy Mation like discusses why why people stay silent. Why people stay silent. And you know, there's there's so many, there's so many stories just just looking through the news and it just breaks your heart right and the most we can do is just try to spread some awareness and try to provide resources and open up and talk to people like again if you're watching this like that's one of the reasons why we have the discord server there's like a thousand people in there and and specific chat rooms so if you are in this situation you just need someone to talk to like pick up your phone message somebody or get into our facebook group and post about it okay there are many women and there are many wi uh, men who have been through these situations before they will help guide you through walk you through this provide you with resources all of that find support because no you don't have to like you don't have to run and like you know tell the local news or like you know your parents these are all things that i recommend but if you're not at that place yet like you need to tell somebody especially if you are a young person watching this video Something that I hear a lot from my younger audience is that they're afraid to tell their parents for a variety of reasons. They don't want their parents to get mad. They don't want their parents to worry, da, 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 da. Talk to somebody at your school, okay? A teacher, a counselor, somebody that you trust, okay? Have a conversation with them, but do not keep this to yourself, all right? You need to find somebody local in your area who you could talk to about this. I get messages all the time from my younger audience and like, I wish I could help everybody, but the best thing you can do is talk to somebody local to your area, okay? Do not stay silent about this stuff. Find somebody who you can talk to about it, all right? So anyways, yeah, Illy Mation, she's definitely one of my new favorite creators. I just subscribed to her channel. Um, I will be watching part two, probably tomorrow. I might make a part two recap tomorrow. Um, but anyways, I got my book to complete, Rewire Your Anger. Again, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Um, it should be hopefully going live on Sunday or Monday, depending on when they approve it and let it go through and all that stuff. But anyways, follow me because I'll be doing giveaways and stuff like that for copies of the book soon. All right, but anyways, uh, again, there are resources down in the description. If you or someone you know needs help, make sure you check out the description, all right? But that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And there is also some brand new exclusive content over on Patreon. So if you're signed up, go check it out. It's uh, my secret to how I stay motivated. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.